From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Hello and welcome to Breaking News, the show where we don't know what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Jungle Jim. And I'm Tiggle Biddies. Tonight, which household product is killing you and which one is secretly delicious? We've got little sippy cups of all of them and we're gonna find out the only way we can, peer-reviewed studies. Zim Zam Zibbly Zow, Skibbity Boo Doo Bit Dip Dang A Doodle. No, you're having a stroke. That's just a taste of a new craze called being a fucking idiot. But does it have a dark side? We'll invest the Bob Scalator with our Boppo Rapport Boo. Then, we'll talk about your teeth, whether they're clean, and how many of you subconsciously ran your tongue over your teeth just now. But first, our top story, mules, mules, mules. They're everywhere these days, in our homes, in our canals, and even in our borax canyons. Some say mules are the future, offering the convenience of a donkey with the rugged sex appeal of a horse. But others say mules eat too many of our nation's apples with their frightening chiclet teeth. One thing's for sure, too many of these sentences ended with a question mark. <laughs> Thank you, Tig, for that informative report. And now, a beloved local business is closing. For more, we turn to hyperlocal reporter Goober Tuber. Goober? Thanks, Jungle. I'm here in what remains of the bad spaghetti factory, where for decades, hungry customers lined up at the, at the pasta valve to pump their gullets full of wet noodles. Now the sauce trough is empty. The Mamma Mia meter is silent and the factory is closed. Standing here alone, I can't help but wonder why the owner locked me in and if I'll ever get out. I'm sorry, Goober, you say you're locked in? Hmm. That's right. The former owner said the key is packed away in one of these boxes, but he's not sure which one. And also every box has something else in it. Something else? Like spaghetti? Spaghetti is certainly a strong possibility, given what I've been talking about. It would not surprise me at all if at least one of these boxes is just a bunch of loose spaghetti in it. But Jungle, I can't stress enough, there could be anything in these boxes. Mm. Hmm, well, I guess you better find that key by randomly choosing a box, blindly reaching in and fishing around for a key. Thank you, Tiggle Biddies. That is exactly what I'll do. Oh, okay, always with the, okay. Box number one, baby. What's in it? <laughs> it's a bunch of noodles, baby. Okay, I'm searching for the key. Oh, it smells so bad, guys. Oh my God. Am I supposed to pull this out? What I don't the think so. fuck? Is it sticking to your finger? It's the noodles at this place were not good. Buca de Beppo's extra sticky noodles. Ooh, glitter noodles. Okay, I can get down with this. I hate that your fingers are sticky now. That makes it awful. These oh. are sticking to my fingers That's now. so revolting to oh, me. Oh, Grant not liking it make me like yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, this smells. Ooh. ooh, I don't know what these are, but ooh, this is textures. Um, wet balls wet are in this balls. one. Wet bouncy balls? Wet bouncy balls are in this one. No key here either. Now, is that supposed to be a noodle-like thing? Wet balls? Yeah, wet balls. Oh, I'll tell you a little something about wet balls. <laughs> no. They're right next to the noodle. Okay, what even is this? Oh, Jesus. AstroTurf? Oh, 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 this is a little pleasant. <laughs> oh. I, <laughs> oh. Save it for Grant, he's gonna fuck Ooh. it later. Honestly, you liking it made me like it. Wait, is there even, I'm supposed to find a key, right? Hold it up, I wanna see what it is. <gasps> it's, oh. oh, it's gag, it's gag, it's slime. Oh, the wet balls. The keys in the wet balls. Would you hold up the wet balls so I can yeah. see what the wet balls look like? Here are the wet balls. Been there, oh, baby. Well, found it, it was in the wet balls. Well. Here it is, the key. I can finally escape this penitentiary Come on. that has imprisoned me. Until next time, I'm Goober Tuber and I love kissing. Wow, thanks Goober. We go now to our music reporter, the one, the only, Sproin Dwingleman. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm Sproin Dwingleman, coming at you live for me, but pre-taped for you <laughs> to share all the songs that are burning up the charts. At number three, it's Cry Me A River because you're in denial. We can't play that track for you, but the best part goes like 
Ooh, and I'm a good singer, so get ready for this. Um, do up, 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 cry me. <laughs> That's a song that already exists. I was gonna say, I don't That's know the copyright already exists. <laughs> At number two, yes, it's the soundtrack to the movie, Mr. Skeleton Bones. Composed by Danny Elfman, this track has no lyrics, but it's unmistakably Elfman. It sort of sounds like this. Ding dong, 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 ding dong, ding dong. Sounds like the chimes of Westminster Abbey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clash, clash. I feel like Elfman scores are usually a little bit more... No. Like, okay. <laughs> no. no, they're not. Sure. And of course, number one on the charts again this week, it's a cover of Johnny Cash's cover of Nine Inch Nails Hurt from the band Spelunkin' on Jupiter. Isn't that a ska band? Yes, it is, Jungle. To be clear, this is a ska cover of Hurt. It sounds like this. I can't imagine we have the rights to this song or even what ska really is. I think it's when one of the band members wears a hat. You get a whole big <laughs> band with you. Bum, 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 yeah, bum, 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 I bum, hurt bum. myself today just so I could know pain. I actually don't know the words to songs. Do you want to come to the Warp Tour with me next time? Absolutely not. It's truly a golden age of music, and I am King Midas. Well, that's all the numbers left on any countdown. Until next time, I'm Sproing Doingleman, going doing, that's what I'm doing. Thanks, Sproing. Well, that's all that happened today. The only news remaining is to announce the loser. Me, Teo, and as punishment, they'll have to put their hands in all the boxes from the spaghetti factory. Can I say I'm a little jealous? I kind of want to know what they felt like. My hand has been wet the whole episode and just dried up now. Oh, I see the wet balls now. Yeah. Are they boba balls? Are they not boba balls? No. Those Would you guys definitely. describe them to me? This one's like clay. Yeah. It's like touching clay. That is for sure yeah. expired spaghetti. Sure. This oh, one? it does smell. It smells it's, like feet. It's feet spaghetti. The little balls are nice. <laughs>